What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Chris, aka Mr. 540, 540 Gang Gang in the building. Love working on the Tahoe again. I got my new Rhino bar in, so after the intro, we'll be right back. Gang. What's good, everybody? Know what it is. Oh, no. I'm in London. I'm I mean, there's just, just more questions you have to ask me. Still ten toes down the road, Melissa. He ran out on the that's a shot, shot, shot. Cold hearted, go with the block, I block out. Gotta keep it on me, I wanna die young. I'd rather be judged by 12 than carried by six. I'ma go post bail, just look at my wrist. Tell me why the legends always gotta die quick. When I'm in traffic, gotta slide with the beam on me. Cause I keep out here at bus and not the jeans on me. Alright, we are back. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use my rusted up blade to cut through this um, plastic. And we're gonna see exactly what is actually in this box and find out what we need to install this on my Tahoe. All right? <laughs> Step bar. Another bar. Yes, this is the top part here. There's not that many pieces in here. Uh, let's see what this is. Uh, warranty stuff. Uh, and there's some other stuff in here. So, we're gonna go ahead and get the stuff laid out and get ready for installation. All right, let's begin our assemble. I'm pretty much be calling out stuff, um, and the video will probably be fast forwarded a bit, so kind of save some time because this is a lengthy process. Um, all I had to do was grab um, an 11 millimeter and a 20 millimeter, pretty much to get the job done and a ratchet. All right, let's get to it.
everything um, as far as the bar itself done. Push bar. Um, these were 14. So I used a regular ratchet and for 14 you will need some grip pliers or the adjustable pliers to kind of well adjustables is better to hold it while you turn all right so let's go into our next phase which is um dealing with the truck um we have to put the bars on the truck so we'll be able to put this up there all right be right back all right everybody we are under the truck all right we're pretty much looking for the main rail, this rail here. And see these two screws here? This is the screws we're gonna need to put this bracket here. Just like that. All right, so we are gonna use these screws here. Our biggest screws that we got in the package. Um, I can't remember exactly the size. It was two, two by something, but we're using this in our washer. All right, let's go ahead and try to put this on. And it's very difficult to do with one person. And the way I got my camera set up. Got our nuts. That's a very tight spot. Let's do that. As a matter of fact, let's do it for the other side also. It's gonna get too difficult. This is very difficult to try to get done.
now about to try to assemble this bar here, which is gonna attach to the um, Go Rhino bar. All right, so what we're looking for is on this side, those two holes and the hole from the bracket. And that's gonna pretty much sit like this. All right, so again, we're gonna take those two big bolts. I don't know how my position is wrong, but um, let me figure that out and we'll be right back. So I got the bolts through um, this part. I did kind of have to release the bumper a little bit so I can get some kind of clear through. But I got the bolt up there. And the next bolt's gonna go there. We're gonna tighten it up. And we're gonna go through this third hole here. All right, so I had to kind of come back to the first bracket and uh, loosen those um, just so I can get this bolt going through both those brackets. Because when it's tight, it kind of goes up too far. But, um, all right, so it is connected to that. I'm gonna just put a washer and a nut on the end of this and we'll be ready to go. On the passenger side, I'm trying a slightly different method um, without having to unscrew those screws there. I'm gonna just put the bolt in here and then line the bracket up to where it's supposed to be. And after this, we'll get ready to install our um, Go Rhino push bar onto these brackets. All right, so we have gotten the brackets in. Um, again, two bolts on the L-shaped bracket and then two bolts on top of this one and then one bolt connected from this to the L-shaped bracket, all right? Our next thing is gonna be actually putting a Rhino bar on, so I'll be right back. All right, so we're about to install the Rhino bar. I do got a jack, uh, because it's just me. Uh, I'm gonna use the jack to kind of hold the Rhino bar up while I secure this side, and then that side is next. <laughs> was I took these brackets um, I took the factory screws that were right here took them out put the brackets in put the factory screw back in um, and there's a hole on this bracket and a hole on the rhino bar that this goes in like this it doesn't line up perfectly um, but um, just bend it and get it to the best of your ability Or not ability, but you know. What I did have to do was grab a big wrench or a hammer or something, kind of beat 
this corner here, you gotta beat it at a, a lower angle so that hood can close. So 